created a line using the curvature tool, just curvature tool in Illustrator. Well, what I can do, I can change this line by using the extend path tool. Extend path tool. Now it's a plugin from Astute Graphics, part of their Vector Scribe set. Check out their website for trials, information, as well as freebies as well. They've got some great features. And what you do, go here and you can hover over it. You can see at the end, you get a little marker up here. Just a little marker. And you go to the other end as well. Obviously, this is for an open path. This is an open path with a width profile. Doesn't matter. Doesn't need a width profile. It can be just, but then what you can do, you can just click on it and just drag that little marker back along the line. Now you can go the other way. You can extend it. Sometimes it might extend. Most times it extends. But obviously in this case, when it's got width profile, it doesn't. But what you can do, you can drag it all the way back. So you can sort of go to that point. Go to that point and it follows all the way along. Now, of course, you could do that normally just by deleting points off it. But it's not so finessed in terms of you can just, you know what, I like sort of certain points. You can see there, you can see it, you can drag around and you create the line again. It may be quite different. You might think, you know what, that looks better. Maybe, maybe not. But you can always change your mind and run it back and just keep tweaking it until you're happy with your design. Just going to remove that now. What you can also do, spiral. Now, obviously, you can tweak the spiral, but I'm just going to create a very basic spiral. And again, I can put a width profile on it. I can set the stroke width. Let's just make it so you can see it. And again, exactly the same. Just go over here, extend path tool. It's an open path, so you can modify it. And you can just go there. Go that end or this end. And you can just drag. And of course, you can go further out if you want as well. And you can just drag around and you say, you know what, I think that's a point where I like it or maybe a bit further. So it just matches up with that. You might want that. So you can just carefully do it using this. Now it's a pity there's no alignment features. Be nice if that was there. However, you can also go on that one and you can say, you know what, I want it just to be lined about there. Again, maybe you just have to use uh, guides, etc., to work out that looks right. So you can create all kinds of spiral designs just by tweaking it using this extend part tool. Now, what you can also do, and I'm just going to quickly go close pass, not so easy, but you can do it because you've got star tool, say. Just quickly create a star, and I'm just going to create a very basic star. And I can turn that into an open pass. Simply just go over here, direct selection tool, and I'm just going to select a point and delete. So now I've got a star that's open. Well, now I can also just resize it so you can see it a bit clearer. So let's make it 60 so you can see it. Then go extend again, just down here, extend path tool, and you can drag back. And you can drag back and you can reduce the start, maybe down to there. Create all kinds of, and again, other side as well, if you want just to do that. Maybe just a bit further, like that, a bit further, and so and so. Sometimes, of course, if you don't get it exactly right, then it's going to be, well, it's just added an extra line there. Okay, let's just follow it around. Yeah. So you can create all kinds of designs from closed as well as obviously open. So uh, maybe a slight odd way of doing it with the uh, closed pass. But that's it, the extend part tool, lots and lots of other features. You can use it, of course, to create designs, but you can also use it to reduce as well, which is super useful. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.